Ladies and gentlemen, for our eighth professional and final bout of the evening, this middleweight competition will be made up of three rounds of five minutes, refereed by Danielle Sharifi. Now, for our contestants, fighting out of the red corner, standing at 185 centimeters, weighing in at 84 kilos, and representing the Netherlands here tonight, it's Jason Vilness! And across the cage, fighting out of the blue corner, standing at 182 centimeters tall, weighing in at 84 kilos, representing Denmark here tonight, it's Aaron Okorogu! Wow. Robin, no, <laughs> no prize no, predicting rules, what Erhan's going to try and do straight from the off. All the time. That's oh, the you want. Step back. You know, I expect Willness to be moving his feet. Just, that's what, it, that's just, what his coaches would tell him. That's what he would think would be logical. Move fight. laterally, circle around, try the jab, try the low kick. Uh, so that's a good guess. But Erhan, I don't know, you know. Punches to the hips, maybe? Punches to a takedown? Find out we have three rounds of five minutes in this middleweight bout. Vilnis is in the black and white shorts, Erhan in the black. So Erhan literally just moved his shoulders enough to engage the combat, the striking combat mind of Jason Wilness. So he was like, oh wait, what's he punching with? And then it allowed him to get to the hips. He literally just showed only enough subtlety with the upper body to engage that Jason's mind and he's in on the body. How important for both fighters is this little exchange here? So you know what I didn't expect Jason to do? <laughs> is look for, a, for an inside trip or, a, or an overhook throw, which he did. That's a really good sign, man. <laughs> like, you'd figure Willness would, would be reverting back to the most predictable push the head down or push the head up. By him introducing that overhook throw, it actually will make Okaraglu have to you know, respect this a little bit more. He can't just you know, commit to one, one simple or single takedown. He knows that Jason's very, very prepared. As a striker, when you're used to the cardio and the exertion based in those sort of striking exchanges, how surprising and how exhausting in comparison would a wrestling battle like this be? Well, the answer would be it would be a lot unless the more you prepare for it and the more you do it, the less you know, taxing it will be. And positionally, Willness is showing you some good choices, which says he's been doing this a fair bit, which suggests it won't fatigue him as much. But I love what Erhan's doing. No rush, no rush, make this guy work. Two minutes into the round, Erhan so far looks to be in the more dominant position, but has yet to make any of his damage land. Oh, <laughs> big elbow. Yeah, level trajectory elbow by Jason. And that, and see, Jason's gonna attack the neck, he's gonna get taken down if he does. Whether he gets it or not is a, is a secondary you know, result, but if he attacks his neck for too long, he will get taken down. Now, Often, when you see this type of position, the conversation will move to, is he taking him down? Is he stopping him from taking down? How's the defending of the takedown? But the truth is for Erhan, he doesn't need a takedown. He's not even, he'll take it if it's there. But, and there it is, but if it isn't, we'll get back on. Because what he's trying to do is make him work. Oh, there's another elbow. Erhan's got to watch out for those. Yeah. Oh, this is... Yeah. Uh, this is gonna be intriguing to see if Vilnius can deal with the conundrum. Vilnius can take him down if he rotates to his left. Vilnius can stick his left leg behind and actually take down Erhan. Not what he wants to do, but that counter is there to Erhan's attempt. So in this situation, would you advise Vilnius to step back now and try and get striking? You know what? Or do you? So there's one little detail that you can see that talks about his experience, and that's where he puts his head. And he had his head under Erhan's chin. And what's that going to do? And that'll stack the vertebrae up. So it makes it very difficult for Erhan to do anything. And the fact that Jason went there shows that he has offensively plays this position as well. Make no mistake. If you ask Jason, hey, how do you think the first round's gonna go? Okay, we're gonna grapple for three and a half minutes. That wouldn't have been his goal, but at the same hey, time, he's doing pretty damn well. Oh, and he's the one. Beautiful little sweep. Yep, and it, it's, that's an old root Muay Thai, or a Muay Bran old sweep. And this is where Vilnius wants to be, right? Yep, yep. And just simple. 
front kicks, jabs, low kicks. Oh, he loved oh, the elbows. This is tonight. getting spicy. Yeah. 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 And it's Erhan's arms that are tired. It's Erhan who was asked to work very hard. Jason's gonna have a big minute here. Oh, oh yeah. wow. That oh. was a big one. This might be over. Left and he's called yeah. it. Yeah. Wow. What an impressive yeah. debut. I know Erhan is upset, but literally I was like, you saw it and I said, Jason's gonna have a big minute here. And it's seconds after that he punched, because what you were able to see is a wobble in the legs of uh, Okaraglu, and not from being hit, from fatigue. He worked his butt off for four hard minutes. And then when they separated, you've got Jason Wilness comfortable out in the gap, what he's been waiting for, and you see Okaraglu take a big deep breath with a little wobble in his leg from fatigue. And right in that moment, Jason's like, oh, I know what to do here. How, imp <laughs> how impressive was the ability to go for all that okay. rest of defense, that hard? So that's the rotating sweep. That's an old school Muay Thai sweep. And watch the body language when they get up. Look at the body language of er Okaraglu. And after he dropped him with the straight punches, then from here, it's just gonna be a, a, a case of finishing him. But there's the moment before the big punches, and if we see that, you'll see a difference in their body language. And this here we see the, the finish. The, yeah, the finish on the ground. But in the moments before this, when they were still standing, that's when you see a deep breath out of one man and a, and a look of focus on the other man. And Jason Wilness' mind was like, I know exactly what to do here. I have a tired guy with his hands down. I'm gonna hit him with my favorite punches. Fantastic. So I believe we are ready now for the winner's announcement. Okay, here it is. Fake knee and big. Oh. Just gets deep in. Look at the wobble. Beautiful. So yeah. I'll hand you over to that Jesse part. now for the to announce the winner of our headline event. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee has called an end to this contest in the fifth minute of the first round, declaring a victor by KO. Give it up from the red corner, Jason. Build it!